Well, good students. So today in topography, we will learn about how we can locate places in a topographical map and we call it grid reference. How to find out grid reference. So to locate a place on the earth, two types of grid system are used. So there are two types of grid systems that we use to locate any place on the earth and they are the first one the lines of latitudes and longitudes and the second one is universal transverse marketers which we call it as UTMs. So we will learn about them and we will also learn how they help us to locate any place on the earth. So first come here and let's see these are the vertical lines vertical lines and we call them longitudes it starts from 0 degree it's the prime meridian we this is a reference line for the from where we draw all the longitudes and we even value them or give them a value from 0 degree so towards the east it goes up to 180 degrees and towards the west also there are 180 degrees of longitudes all together longitudes are 360 in number so along with the latitudes longitudes along with latitudes latitudes are horizontal lines they also have a reference line that is uh, the zero degree equator equator is the longest line which can be drawn along the globe so it is considered to be the uh, passing from the center of the earth and dividing the earth into two equal half so equator is marked as zero degree and as we go towards the north we reach up to 90 degree north so there is an increase in 1 degree as we move up and it reaches up to 90 degree and we call it north pole and as we move towards south the degree 1 by 1 degree increases and it reaches up to the south pole that is again 90 degree so all together there are 180 plus equator so there is 181 latitudes and 360 longitudes so when they intersect with each other they form a system and we call it a grid system. If we draw like this, these are the lines of latitudes, these are the lines of longitude. So when they form a network, you can see they have formed so many boxes and actually this one where two latitudes and two longitudes are passing forms a grid. So this is one grid and if we have to locate suppose this place or place is here so we will find its location in this grid. We will not consider the other grids because when we have drawn the lines we find this place lying in this grid. So like this the grid system helps us to locate any place on the earth surface. The second one is universal transfers marketers UTM. So we will discuss more about each of them in detail. So we will now learn about the lines of latitudes and longitudes and how they are divided and subdivided and they help in locating a place precisely, how they help to pinpoint a place on the earth, uh, on the earth surface. If we look at this, we can see the mesh or the network of lines crisscross or they are intersecting each other. They are longitudes and latitudes. This is the equator, 0 degree and this is the center line, this is again 0 degree, prime meridian, reference line for longitudes. Now, at the equator, two latitudes and two longitudes, the distance between them, the distance I have uh, shown a line with arrow heads on both sides, so the distance between them is uh, not less than 95 kilometers. So, distance between two latitudes and two longitudes is not less than 95 km. So, it's a big distance, it's a long distance and a big area which comes in it. So, to precisely locate any place within 900 km, sorry, 95 km is not very easy. So, to make the location uh, or the, to increase the accuracy, this a particular grid has been subdivided. So I will tell you how it happens. So suppose this is 0 degree, then this next latitude will be 1 degree. This is 0 degree longitude, the 
next one will be 1 degree. So as we are moving this side, this is 0 degree prime meridian, this will be 1 degree east longitude. As this is equator, 0 degree, as we are going above, so this will be 1 degree north latitude. So I hope this is clear. I, I will help, uh, explain this with the help of an example. Now, this 0 degree and 1 degree has a difference of 1 degree, right? And the longitudinal difference is also 1 degree. As we are going from one longitude to another, the difference is of 1 degree. As we are going from one latitude to another, the difference is of 1 degree. So I have taken a degree here. This is 36 degree north. As we go up, this is the next latitude is 37 degree north. So the difference is of, a, of 1 degree. Similarly, this is 70 degree east longitude and as we move to the next longitude that is 71 degree east. So this is a degree. Now if we have to locate the place here it would not be very easy because as I uh, told you just now the difference the distance between two latitudes or two longitudes is not less than 95 kilometers. So it's a big uh, difference. So what we do, we divide the degree into, six, uh, into 60 equal divisions. So this one degree is divided into 60 equal division and each division is known as a minute. So we divide a degree into 60 minutes. Let's take a minute. So this was a degree and this is the diagram of a minute. If you look at the reading, you will understand. This is 36 degree north, so 36 degree 1 minute north and then the degree remains same, 36 degree, it becomes 2 minute north. So you can see the degree has remained same but the minute has changed because I told you see 36 degree from 36 to 37 degree, this 1 degree has been divided into 60 parts. So 36 degree 1 minute 2 minute, 3 minute and so on. So like this, 60 divisions are there. So I have taken one division, one small division, difference of a minute. So here it is, 36 degree 1 minute north and the next reading will be 36 degree 2 minute north. So this is the diagram of a degree, uh, sorry, of a minute. Degree is divided into 60 minutes. Here I have represented one minute, the difference of a minute. Now, for more precise location, to find out the exact location, we divide each minute, there are this uh, minute, so each minute is divided into 30, uh, sorry, 60 seconds. So this is a minute, again this is divided into 60 parts and one part I have drawn here means if this is 36 degree 1 minute north, the next second will be 36 degree 1 minute 1 second long. So I have drawn it here. You can see 36 degree 1 minute 1 second. This is a uh, symbol we use for second and this is the symbol we use for minute. So as we have divided into second, so here the degree didn't change but the minute increased. Here the degree and minute both will remain unchanged until the next degree comes uh, or then the next minute comes but the second will change. 36 degree, 1 minute, 1 second north. The next second is 36 degree, 1 minute, 2 second north. So like this, a degree is divided into 60 minutes and each minute is divided into 60 seconds. So like this, we have brought the location to a very precise state so that we can find out the, and locate a place very precisely. I hope you have understood this. This is the concept of how latitudes and longitudes are used to locate any place on the earth's surface. We will take up an example so that uh, your understanding uh, of the topic how we locate place with the help of latitudes and longitudes become better. So here I have taken only one degree 
degree north latitude and the next is 32 degree latitude. Difference of 1 degree. And uh, in case of longitude, 26 degree west and then the next one is 27 degree west. So now we have uh, to divide this into minutes and seconds. So this 1 degree I have divided into 60 parts. Suppose this is the 30th minute. So till here it will be 45. So this is a place which we have to locate. So first I have drawn these dotted lines so that we can find out up to which minute 31 degree north and this place is between 31 degree and 32 degree north. But what about more uh, of precise location? So we will go to minutes. So let us see. If we come here it comes to be 45 minutes. So the location will be 31 degree 45 minute north. Now students if we have to go more precise we will divide 45 degree into 60 parts and we will get the second. So the, that location will be exact and the most precise location. Now longitudinal wise also we will do the same. 26 degree west to 27 degree west is one longitude. We will divide it into 60 equal parts. And where the line, this line, this point uh, vertically above this, we will find the reading that it is 26 degree west, 50 minute. So 26 degree, 50 minute west. Now if we want to go more precise, we will divide 50 minute into 16 equal parts into seconds. And we will get a better or and precise position of this place. So this is the way we divide the latitudes and longitudes into minutes and then into seconds so that we can get the precise and exact location of a place. Have a look at this topo sheet. My motive is to show the longitudes and latitudes that pass through a topo sheet. So here you can see a black line written 25 minute. So as we have just discussed that we divide a degree of a latitude or one degree of a longitude into 60 minutes and then further each minute into 60 seconds. So here you can see uh, 25 minute. It's uh, here. I'll bring it closer so that you can see it properly. You can see the black line and the minute mentioned that is 25 minute. Uh, students, uh, a topo sheet is very, uh, it shows a very small area. So not even an area between one degree. So it is the area in a topo sheet may be less than a degree. may Might cover uh, an area which is less than in a degree. So here you will often find latitudes and longitude with minutes. You will not find any uh, degree. It's a very rare to find degrees in a topo sheet. Here we have another uh, Example, you can see this another topo extract of another topo sheet. We can see here 24 degree. This is the latitude is also mentioned here and the minute that is 20 minute. So like this uh, black lines are drawn for latitudes and longitudes and the degree minutes are often mentioned in a topo sheet. But they are very rare because as I told you, not even a degree is covered in a topo sheet. Not even an area between uh, one uh, which is uh, of one degree is covered in a topo sheet. The area is, uh, is often smaller than that. So we don't find lines of degrees rather only of minutes and seconds. Now students will learn about the next method of grid reference and that is UTMs. UTMs stand for Universal Transverse Marketers. It's actually a system of horizontal and vertical reference lines that divide the surface of the earth into a grid. So here this is known as a grid and uh, here I have not drawn the world map but this is supposed to be drawn over the world map and it is there is a series of number at uh, running uh, from one column to the another and it goes on. Uh, whereas you will see a series of letters on the right side. So like this, the numbering is given at the top uh, with a, uh, and as well as alphabets are put into order. So that this system can be uh, put up and this can be used to pinpoint or find out or locate a place on the globe. 
Now, in this grid, if we take a box, this is a, called a zone. Let us see what are the features this system has. Each square on the map are called a zone. Just now I told you, each square, each, any square you pick, that is a zone. Vertical and horizontal lines intersect at point for coordinates. When a vertical and a horizontal line intersect, the point is known as a coordinate and they intersect at right angle. Vertical position is defined in terms of northings and the horizontal position is defined in terms of easting. Vertical position means as it increases, the value increases towards the north, that is known as northing. And as the value increases towards the east, you can see the value is increasing, it is known as easting. So, this is about UTMs and a grid system, how it helps to find out the location of a place. In a topographical map, the lines that run horizontally are the northing. So we will see how I have written here on northings. So lines which run horizontally, this one, the number is 42, 43, again this is horizontal line. So you can see the lines are running horizontally. So they are known as northings in a topo sheet. The lines that run vertically are eastings. So here we will see number 80 is the value, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. So they are moving towards east, so they are eastings, but they are vertical lines moving towards east means their value is increasing towards east and the horizontal lines their value is increasing towards north, so they are known as northings. To locate places on a map using UTMs, two types of grid reference can be used. So based on the UTMs, we have two types of grid reference to pinpoint or map or find out the location of a place. Four figure grid reference and another one is six figure grid reference. So if we have to find the location of anything or any point or any um, what to say, uh, spot height or to find the location of a tank or to find the location of a temple, then we will use four figure and we, will, we can tell that yes, this is in between, it is in this grid. Whatever has been asked is in this grid, but it will not be able to tell us the exact location. The four figure can give us the location of a grid into which that particular thing which we are about to locate lies but if we want to go precise we have to rely on the six figure grid reference which will help us to pinpoint the exact location. So uh, the four figure grid reference and the six figure grid reference help us to locate a place or a thing or an object or a landform or a value or contours or values uh, whatever we desire to a greater accuracy in the topographical map. So this is all about how to locate places in a topographical map that is how to find out the grid reference. In the next module we shall learn how uh, we find, use the four figure grid reference and the six figure grid reference to locate places on the on a topographical sheet. So that's all in this module. Thank you students.